Hi everyone, this is Heather from the Flourish Academy where our goal is to empower, educate, and elevate you to create a life that you love through the art and business of photography. In this video, we are going to use the graduated filter tool inside of Lightroom, but first, make sure you check out all of the free resources available on our website. I love this image that I recently captured. I just wanted to share with you how I would enhance it further. I begin editing almost all of my photos lately by applying a preset from the Flourish Academy. I'll post a link below. It's called Susie's Favorite. My friend Susie created it and I just love it. Look at the difference before and after after to that image. I love it. And at this point, the only thing I would do in terms of white balance is maybe come into the HSL sliders and grab the targeted adjustment tool and maybe pull down a little bit more on the green and yellow just so it's not so saturated. But I think overall it looks great. The last thing I'm going to do is use the graduated filter by pressing M on my keyboard. I think what I'm going to do is just add a little bit more of a flare from the sun in the upper right corner. So I'm going to pull up on the exposure, down on the contrast, up on the shadows, and maybe down on the clarity a little bit. And then I'm going to click and drag like this from the upper right. I think I will also pull down on the dehaze slider a little bit in order to actually add more haze to the image. Now, of course, this tool is interactive, so you can come over to these sliders and adjust them until they look the way that you would like them. You could even click on the color square and maybe add a nice warm yellow cast to this. I'm gonna pull down on the saturation a little bit of that. Although you might be able to accomplish the same thing by just pulling up on the temperature. So if you pull up significantly on the temperature, you'll see where it starts to impact the yellow into that area. <laughs> now I don't want it to look like it was fall because it wasn't. <laughs> so I'm going to pull that back down. Now in order to view just this adjustment, you can click this icon in the bottom left of the panel. So this was before that adjustment and this is after. And I think that looks great. And I just wanna share with you one quick tip that can make all the difference when using the graduated filter. You can select brush from the panel and add or subtract to this selection. So in this case, I want to remove some of this from my subjects. So I'm going to hold down Alt or Option in order to brush over them and remove that light that I wanted to just show on the background. So now if I take a look at before and after, I can see I missed a little bit of an area right here. I'm holding down Alt or Option again just to subtract out or remove part of that adjustment. Let's take a look again before and after. Isn't that amazing? I'm going to press M in order to drop that tool and I'd like to look at the overall before and after with a couple of quick adjustments. This photo is finished. I hope that you found this useful. I'll see you in the next video.